Well, I'm just popping over to the village, to the Asda store, and uh, I'm just sitting down on the bench for a minute on the main road. Um, there's a lot of traffic. I've just missed a bus. I just saw the bus coming along as I uh, as I crossed over the road, so I've missed that. So, and there's so few and far between at the moment. So I think I'll have a few minutes sitting here because it's a nice day. Then I'll have a walk over there. I think. <laughs> There's a lot of people walking about. That's the direction I'm heading anyway, so um, I'll have five minutes here in the sun and I'll just take a little walk over there. Well, I'm astounded. Actually, there's so many people walking around small groups of people and we're supposed to be isolated. I mean not in normal times this this road would not be this busy with pedestrians. In fact when I leave the store I'll do what I did yesterday, I'll go a scenic route uh, where there's absolutely virtually nobody walking around. Anyway I think I'll set off to the store which is obviously what I've just said a minute ago it's over that way so I'm gonna start walking. Oh isn't that typical I'll start walking I start walking and the bus goes by. I've just passed a bus stop. Oh, oh well. Luckily there's another bench here. Well, I'll sit here for a minute. Asda's only up the road, up the hill. So, that's, that always happens. I'll stay at the bus stop and then I'll decide, oh that's enough. I'll start walking and then the bus goes by. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's one thing I do like about this uh, stretch of the London Road it's because there's a few benches along the way and it's nice to sit down especially if I like returning and I'm loaded up with shopping so it's always nice to sit down for a minute especially on a nice day like this just really nice, I'm in no hurry to get home uh, so, so my mission today is just to get to the Asda store I want to buy a new hand towel probably some biscuits as well so I did most of my shopping yesterday. It's all the cyclists, there's quite a few cyclists everywhere and people jogging and all that, you know. But uh, inside the store's the problem because there's still people not keeping uh, this two metres apart. It's very difficult to manoeuvre around the store. So I'm just going to get in there and get out as fast as I can, really. Well, before, before I set off, it is something I've always liked when I sit here. If I look up, you see these trees before before the leaves come out. It's a really interesting view. It's all silhouetted against the blue sky. Yeah, I think that's a really amazing picture. It's really nice that. Oh well, best foot forward. And here's another bit of pleasant scenery. And just by the roundabout, which is just there, and the botanic garden is to my left, beyond this, this fence. But here you've got all these trees, look. I don't know if they're willows, oh, look at that. It's such a nice view. It's, it's like walking beneath a canopy of green. Oh, yeah. Well, here's something that's always amused me. It's just on the roundabout. It says here, Botanic Gardens, half a mile. If I just pan over here. Here it is. Botanic Gardens. So how do, they, how do they figure that? So from that post to this post, it's half a mile. Hmm. I don't know if I've got the energy to walk that distance. Oh well, onwards. Well, I've just arrived at the Asda store. Uh, <laughs> yet another little bench I'm sitting down on. It's, uh, I'm just getting my breath back because this is quite a, a, it's quite a steep hill. That's the roundabout way in the distance, and I've just walked up this uh, this hill. So I often usually sit here. 
thing is I was walking pretty quick so anyway the store's just behind these trees here uh, so I'm going to see how long the queue is they were queuing up for quite a while yesterday so I don't really want much uh, so we could take ages getting through it all just for one or two items what the hell it's a nice day I'm going to walk back the scenic route in a bit as well okay touch in a bit Oh, I shan't bother walking around, I'll take the shortcut. I don't know why they don't make a permanent pathway through here because it's quite a walk right down to the entrance which is the best way to go, I think this way, no, I think this way. Oh. Straight into the car park. Oh. Right, there we are. There's quite a few, there's quite a bit, few people queuing up. So that's what we have to do now, is queuing up. And uh, well, look at this today. The queue goes, oh my God, right over there. Oh dear. I hope we don't have to wait too long, I need to go to the loo. And you can only go there on the way out. I better be quick then. <laughs> See you later. Wow, you my god. The queue. The queue begins here, right inside the car park. It's like about 20 minutes going in the store. Oh well, better get in the queue. Hmm. Oh, I can move on a bit. Well, I'm out of the store now. now I was, I was going to, I was planning to have a walk over to the village, but it's not much point. Everywhere's closed. So I'll th I think I'll just head back now. Let's get straight home via the scenic route. Of course, as I said, it's about ten past five now. Yeah, I'll try and get killed. There you go. Yeah, just about ten past five. It's amazing, this is like a little jungle here. <laughs> so I've got time to um, have a sit down on the bench for a while. There's a park on the way back, it's night in park. I'll be able to sit there for a bit. Here we go, look at this. Back on the main road. Oh. Ah. Actually, here's that bench again. By the store, just sit down for a moment. Just been rushing through the store. Well, yeah, it's a bit of a rush. Uh, took about, uh, I'd say, about 10 minutes to get in there. The, the, the queue moved pretty quick, so it weren't too bad. And uh, so I just belted around the store. I got a hand towel, got some hobnob biscuits, a pot noodle, and I think some kind of like uh, some current scones, current scones or something so I'll try those out for later that's my little treat for tonight lovely sunny day so that's why I don't really want to take the bus I just want to stretch my legs a bit sort of cooped up indoors all day sitting in front of the computer no good at all no good at all doing that no oh. Ah, right. Well, here I am. At, here I am. Arrived at Knighton Park, following a very brisk walk. So, 
it's a pleasant route really because there's not many people on that route and, uh, and the, uh, because of all the trees the dual carriageway you see it sort of deadens the traffic sound quite a lot so and but I'm going to head for that bench that I like hope there's no one sitting there today just put my feet up and enjoy this bit of sunshine that's left it's still fairly high over the trees another little scenic pathway I'm not going all around the park this is just the quickest route to that bench I was on about it's a nice, it's a nice little spot though isn't it the birds twittering over there Lots of uh, oh, lots of silver birch along here. I can't. There's a few people about, but I keep finding myself uh, moving away from them, walking on the grass bits. And there's, there's two dogs have run up to me so far. No one is calling them back. Well, I can see my bench straight ahead. There's a lot of people running about. Why do they think that's good for them? It about kills me off if I tried that. Here we are. Lost poor call before heading in that direction and then I'm, I'm just at uh, I live at the road oh just up there <laughs> not that road up there not the top oh but uh whoops well I'm facing the sun here so I won't uh, point the camera in that direction but uh so it's nice and quiet this time of day I think I don't know what time it is must be about half past five by now but the sun's still fairly high in the sky so I'm just going to sit here for about 10 or so minutes before heading home for dinner. See you later. Ah. <laughs> Let's stop that. Oh, right, I'm back. That was quite a pleasant trek over to the uh, village. Well, I didn't go into the village itself. I just went to the Asta store. Um, <clears throat> I was a bit late setting off this afternoon, so uh, it was a bit of a rush. So... Uh, Anyway, I got what I needed. I got my hand towel. Yeah. It says it, it was it's, it's marked as, as three pound, but it cost two pound fifty. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's what I need. And that pot noodle, pot noodle. <laughs> I'm not going to show the brand, but it's a pot noodle. Fifty pence that was, I think. Fifty p, I think. Biscuits. I like those in my coffee. And the uh, yeah, what's this? This is the other thing. Tensile Tarnas scones, that's it, that's what they are. Some Tarnas scones, lovely little things like that. Some Tarnas in them. <laughs> I like things like that. <clears throat> Just a little treat. Well, anyway, it was a beautiful sunny day. It still is now. I mean, the, the sun's coming around to my side of the building now, so it's just setting over a rooftop. So it should be getting dark pretty quick, so I don't want to mess about with this because I'm going to lose a lot of light. So, uh, anyway, uh, it's been a good week for the weather anyway, it's been really nice. I've only been going out once a day, so I just go over to the store for some shopping or just stay local and do a bit of shopping and come straight back. But um, <clears throat> today and yesterday I just I went I came home via the uh, the park down the road just so I can sit down and enjoy a bit of sunshine. So <clears throat> because I don't have a garden here or anything, so I'm literally stuck in this room all the time. And I need to stretch my legs. And actually, speaking of stretching my legs, I brought this old exercise bike in. So I've got a, <laughs> a friend of mine gave it to me some years ago. And uh, I'm going to get back on that sometime. Um, <clears throat> just keep my legs going. 
and the blood circulating <laughs> for fall apart completely. So anyway, um, yeah, I got what I needed from the store today. Uh, you, you know what, I mean, even though it's like, uh, with all that's going on, just getting it out and walking, you, you can stop and appreciate some of the nicer things, like sitting at that bench where the trees are, look at the view up of those trees above me, it's just a beautiful view. Uh, it's just the canopies of branches coming down with leaves. It just looks so nice. It's, it's quite a scenic route actually to the store, and uh, so I enjoy that. I always do that. I always like to stop. I never try. In, in the winter, you know, it's just bus there and bus back, or bus there, as well into the pub, and then <laughs> depending on how late I am at the pub, it, that could be a taxi back. Then you see, but uh, it gets a bit expensive. <laughs> But now I just walk there and walk back today. It's great, you know, so save some money and the weather's fine for walking. So there you go, let's do that. Oh, I've just thought of something. I I prepared my dinner earlier, but I need just, just to reheat it. We'll just switch that off. <coughs> That's it, just give it a stir. There you go. It's basically, a, a, it's a, a pasta thing, it's pasta. And it's what I've done. It's pasta, um, an onion chopped up, um, what, a capsicum pepper chopped up, thrown in. Uh, what else? Some garlic, some uh, garlic sliced up in there as well. Some, about four little chilies, the hot chilies, and uh, some tins. Red kidney beans, these are like the chilli beans, but I couldn't get them. Asda, Asda's been run out of uh, canned foods for a long time, but they're just starting to get them in now. I <laughs> uh, hope that's not for me. Are they coming for me? I think I'm alright. I'm alright I'm all right for a minute. Yeah, and uh, so, oh, uh, butter beans go in, tins of butter beans go in there, and uh, What's the other thing? Mixed uh, mixed beans as well, like salad bean, beans, something like that. And then a big jar of uh, like sauce, pasta sauce, onion and garlic it's called. Um, oh, and then some, um, what do you call it, baby corn, some of those in, about five or six of those, chopped up, throw those in. And uh, some of those, um, what the hell are they called? Still got some left, where are they? Where is it? Uh, yeah. It says Marge, Marge Tout, but these, these things, these things here, put some of those in as well. It's a bit, <laughs> uh, I can eat them more, you can have the salad, the salad sort. Yeah. And the thing is, it all goes into that big pot over there. That makes four meals. Four meals. The first meal, I'm gonna, I'm gonna heat, I'm heating it up now. I'll have that in a bit when I've done this. So that's my first meal. Then I'll leave the rest of it in the pot overnight. And when it's cooled down in the morning, I'll scoop it in, in, into four plastic containers with lids on and bung them in the fridge. Oh, the freezer, yeah. Bung them in the freezer. And that's three meals for another day. Cheap meal, real cheap. Fantastic. <laughs> so every time I, uh, I've finished off the last one, the fourth one, you know, I gather all the ingredients and do another one. <laughs> I mean, I have different meals in between, obviously, but you know, it's something that's in the freezer. You just whack it in the microwave, heat it up, and it's, and it's, and it's done, you know. Anyway, what else do I want to say? Yeah, um, yeah, that's a nice little track over there. I'm, I'm doing this after I've done that filming because that's the first time I've taken the camera out and done some filming since the OB Festive Lights switch on, which I think was November or something, something like that, October or November last year. I haven't done any photography or taken the camera out since. I've been busy with me other uh, movie projects. Um, <clears throat> which I'll talk about in another video. Anyway, so... You know, I've got the news on now, so I'm catching up with all the, all, all the stuff that's going on, you know. I don't want to talk about the subject on, on this, you know. I want to keep my videos nice and light, because 
I live on my own. I, I don't see anyone all day. Uh, <laughs> I rarely get a phone call. So I, I'm just... Luckily, I've got hobbies that keep me busy with the music and uh, the movie making stuff. And so I've always got... Oh, and writing. I do all this creative writing for these little movies I'm doing. I'll explain all that another time. So I've, I can keep myself quite busy and occupied. So not too bad. Um, so the funny thing is, I, I'm... Uh, it's, it's, I know it's not funny, but it's what slightly amuses me is the, the fact that so many people aren't used to being on their own and staying isolated. Yet I'm used to it. It's actually normal for me to be here on my own and don't see anyone all day unless I go out. So it's not it's not a big deal for me to do that. You know, I know it's hard for some people. They're just not used to it. Um, but I'm used to being on my own all day long, and uh, if I want to see someone, I'll just pop over to the village, to the pub, or there's local pubs around here where I know people. I go and sit in the garden on a nice day in the beer garden, you know, at the back. And, uh, and of course I see enough people when I'm at work anyway, so after all that madness and craziness at work, it's nice to come back and have a bit of peace and quiet. Uh, so, <clears throat> and this is, this little bit where I'm sitting now, this is my creative corner. I've got the computers here that do various things and that, creative works and all that. So I've got plenty of, plenty to keep myself occupied, so... Well, I'm babbling on again, anyway, so... Um, <clears throat> now, I filmed all these clips today on the, on the trip to Asda and then visiting the park and sitting out in the sunshine, so... That was quite pleasant, as I say, and uh, I need to edit all that together now, and then I'll, I'll stick that up... Uh, well, I'm stick it up on... I'm going to say stick it up on YouTube, but not till it's completed. I've got to put this little segment in with it as well. Um, so, <laughs> uh, one thing I do, uh, yes, when it does go up onto my YouTube channel, it's going to go up onto the uh, James Horton video channel, this is. Um, <clears throat> uh, th 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 something's happened recently, over the last few months, it sort of compromised the channel in some ways. I'm not sure if somebody's done it or whether YouTube's messing me about or something, I've no idea. But I, I found it was, uh, it suddenly became impossible to actually um, do certain things. For instance, I can't subscribe to any new channels anymore. It won't let me subscribe to channels, it just doesn't take it. And I just found out on my other channel, the Ignition 5 one, because I've just uploaded some videos up there yesterday, and, and somebody put a comment on one of the videos, and I couldn't reply to it. It won't let me reply to comments. So I expect that'll be the same on this. So, if anybody does uh, write a comment on this video or any others I put up, and you and you think, oh, I'm being ignorant because I'm not replying. I'm trying to reply. I will attempt to re reply, but if, if, if for some reason it's it's not having it, I can't do it. So, my apologies if you do not uh, receive any replies from me, because I was I was I was every time somebody writes to something, writes comments on a video, I always reply, I always respond and thank them for it. I always thank people for doing that, because uh, I appreciate it. Um, so I'm just I'm just saying I apologise in advance if I don't reply or unable to reply. Uh, that's the reason. It's not because I, I don't bother. It's not that. So okay, right. So hope everyone's keeping well, and I hope you enjoy this little <laughs> this little video log. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do some more as well because I want to get out and about a bit more now. Um, so. The weather's picking up, so you know, I just probably won't go very far just yet until we're allowed to. So, and so <laughs> stay well and healthy, everyone, and I hope to see you very soon, anyway. So, I think I'll put, I think, oh, I did some extra filming of the uh, the blossom trees or something down at the park, so I think I'll just stick that on at the end of this bit here, anyway. Bye for now, love a light. Well, while I'm here for a few minutes, I'm just going to point the camera behind the bench. There's what's in the background. See if I can pick up some of this bird song. Picking up more traffic noise. It sounds a bit 